Good day everyone. Today we'll be talking about chapter 2 which is already an introduction to linear programming. So what are our objectives for today? First, we'll be talking about linear programming problem, how to formulate linear programs, how um, we will also be discussing a simple maximization problem and its graphical solution about extreme points and optimal solution about computer solutions, a sim also a simple minimization problem, and special cases. So to start, let's talk about what linear programming is. Linear programming has nothing to do with what we normally know with programming, which is computer programming, diba? So linear programming, or the word programming here, just means that you need to choose a specific course of action. So what you are doing or what you are computing would help you choose a, an alternative. So that's basically what programming in linear programming means. Therefore, LP involves choosing a course of action when the mathematical model of the problem contains only linear functions. Now, linear functions is not something new to you since you've already encountered it in your High school days, algebra palandaan, di ba? Muna siya ang kasagaran na unang topics yun ang i-discuss about linear functions or, yeah, linear functions in general, linear and, and non-linear functions. So, there lang is we will be making use of linear functions to choose a specific course of action. Now, in a linear programming problem, it can either be two it can either be a maximization or a minimization na problem. So, the maximization or minimization of some quantity is what is considered as the objective in all linear programmings. So, again, the objective can either be maximization or minimization. So, in the previous chapter, we've already talked about what the objective function is. Diba? We've also encountered about maximization and minimization already since we've already tried creating a model. Now, all linear problems have constraints that limit the degree to which the objective can be pursued. We also have the concept of feasible solution, which satisfies all the problem's constraints. The optimal solution is the feasible solution that results in the largest possible objective function value when we are dealing with maximization, and the smallest value when dealing with minimization. Now, a graphical solution method can be used to solve a linear program with two variables. In chapter 1, you've already encountered or you've already tried creating your um, model, diba? mathematical model. However, dito lang is we didn't focus on the solution na part. Ato alang nga, focus na to is you creating the objective function, you creating the constraints, diba? As to the uh, identification of the feasible region and the optimal solution, Sa previous na chapter, it was easier kay simple raman to. There was only one constraint or basically two constraints because of the non-negativity. But basically one lang to siya. So dali ra kaayo siya i-solve manually or matamatahon ra siya. However, in reality, it, problems usually involve more than one constraint. So if you've scanned through chapter 1 as well, dito kung gaingon ninyo nga problem niya, you can read on your own. Diba? It involves more than one constraint already. So Karasiya, you can either make use of a graphical solution, which is what we'll be using this afternoon. Now, if both the objective function and the constraints are linear, then the problem is referred to as a linear programming function. So again, both objective and constraint functions should be linear. Now, linear functions are functions in which each variable appears in a separate term raised to the first power and is, and is multiplied by a constant, which could be zero. If dili ganin sa first power, like for example, raised to the power of two, dili na siya linear function. So, naman siya, quadratic na siya, di ba? So, again, linear functions ni mo raised to the power of one, dagin na siya. And then linear constraints are linear functions that are restricted to be less than or equal to equal to or greater than or equal to to a specific constant. So muna siya ang ibang linear na functions or constraints. 
Now let's talk about problem formulation or modeling. This is the process of translating a verbal statement of a problem into a mathematical statement. Now, formulating models is an art that can only be mastered with practice and experience. Now, every LP problem has some unique features, but most problems also have common features. That is why we have a general guideline for LP model formulation that can be illustrated or will be shown in the next slides. So this is your guideline. First, of course, is you need to understand the problem thoroughly. You need to check for information that are relevant to your problem. Kung saan mga data ang magamit o dili magamit. Kung saan ang imuhang gipangita. Are you maximizing something or are you minimizing something? Diba? After which, is you describe the objective of your problem. So I, again, it's either maximization or minimization. Next is you <clears throat> Next is you describe each constraint. So you need to be careful in identifying your constraints so that you won't miss out anything because even if you miss out just one constraint, it would affect the whole problem already. So, maskin isa lang ka constraint, imuhang malintan, automatic, wrong na gina imong makuha nga, feasible solution. Next is you need to define your decision variables. Then write down the objective in terms of the decision variables and write down the constraints in terms of the decision variables. So, kani siyang um, mga guidelines, you've already applied it in chapter 1. Diba? So, we have here a, or let's have a simple maximization problem. Our objective function is 5x sub 1 plus 7x sub 2. And we have the following regular constraints. And of course, you need to remember, or you need to, yeah, you don't forget about the non-negativity constraints. Ano siyang non-negativity constant? Kira siya, nananay na na, di ba? Now, if you would be graphing your constraint, wait, wait, let's copy this first. So that you will not forget about it. Okay, so we have this <clears throat> problem again. Let's replace a word kaya para di nato siya malintan later on. So, if you are to use the graphical solution, what you will be graphing first, or what you will be graphing is the constraint functions first. So, makit anong yudri? On the left side, or on the right side rather, is the graph of the first constraint. So, this one, first constraint. Wherein x is lesser than or equal to 6. Now, you need when you are graphing, diba, if you can remember how to graph linear functions, ang kaning mga symbol sa tunga, you would change it into equalities. And then the shaded region would be determined based on the direction. So, for, in, for example, in this case, S, uh, x sub 1 is equals to 6. So, that is why vertical line ni Mundere because, of course, your x constant is equal to 6. Now, how is the shaded region here determined? Because of this one. Since this is lesser than or equal to. So, tungod kay lesser than man siya, ang imuhang ishade na region is on the left side. So, meaning the 6 already here, your x is equal to 6, is already the maximum value of your 6. So, that is why, as you can see here at the right side, Ang imuhang shaded region is from 0 to 6. Now, let's try to look at the graph of the second second constraint. So, in here, you have um, 2x sub 1 plus 3x sub 2 is equals to 19. So, what you'll be using here is your x and y intercept formula, wherein your, your first variable, if we assume that your first variable is 0, so let's try to. Where in your first variable, if your first variable is 0, meaning your x sub 1 here, imuna siyang i-change to 0. x sub 1 is 0, so your 3x sub 2 would become your x sub 2. Sorry. Your x sub 
to Nidako siya. Wala na lang. Your X sub 2. Kay mahimo na siyang Let's see. Let's see. Your X sub 2 would then become Wait. Ano na siya? Mahimo siyang 19 over 3. 19 over 3. Oops. Sorry. 19 over 3 or maunang 6 and 1 third. So, diba? In here, you can see when your x sub 1 is to 0, your x sub 2 is at 6 and 1 third. Same would apply or you do the same for the, um, what do you call it? For the other variable. So, let's just copy paste this and then change it. So, there is baliktad na. Okay. Kanina. Okay. Do the same. Sub 1 here will then become that will be 19 over 2 or 9 and 1 half. So that is how you get your x and y coordinates. Or your x sub 1 and x sub 2 coordinates. So you just make use of the x and y intercept method. Going back, as you can see here, the shaded region is again less than. So, meaning, as unto the left side of your line, mo na ang imuhang i-shade. Or, kami, unto the left side of your line, mo na ang imuhang i-shade as your visible region. So, all, when you talk about shaded region, it means all points in this shaded region is visible to that specific constraint. Now, constraint number two or constraint, no, the third constraint rather is easier. This one, x sub one, uh, x sub one plus x sub two is equal to eight. So that just makes basically zero eight and eight zero. Still the same shaded region is at the left side since it is lesser than or equal to. Now for the non-negativity, of course you don't need to. You don't need to. Let's see. You don't need to. Graph it anymore. Kaya na naman na siya dere. Kaya zero zero dere na point. That's already your non-negativity. That is why in linear programming problems, you are dealing only or you are working only in your quadrant one, since you are dealing with positive values. Since again, you will be dealing with real life problems, which I'm going to discuss in chapter one. So. Having graphed all your first, second, and third constraints, what you will be doing now is combining those graphs. So basically, ato lang ipakita dere is tagsa tagsa no. But if you combine all those lines or all those graphs, you plot mo ni siya ang naong. Diba? So, ang mahitabu ana, you have here your katong first constraint. This one is your first constraint. Then your second, this line is your second constraint, and then this line is your third constraint. Now, the area that is shared by all your constraints, again, that is shared by all your constraints, is your feasible region. So, di ba ganihag kani mga katung kung gitag sa tag sa to, all these areas kani mga shaded ba yagyapon ni siya. But then again, all constraints should be satisfied. So, meaning, kung unsa ay common sa tanan ni mong constraints nga, nga shaded region, mora na siya imuhang, mora na siya imuhang i-consider nga feasible region. So, in this case, the shaded area here is your feasible region for our problem. So, kanina siya is graphing your constraints. However, again, what we are looking for is our optimal solution. So, kanisha, kaning tanang points sa shaded area are all possible answers. But what we are looking for is the optimal solution. Now, how do we get that? This is the time wherein we graph our objective function line. Ganiha, ato ang unang gi-graph, kay ang ato ang constraints. 
karon ang objective function ng atong graph. Now, the graphing of your objective function is still the same. Gamit gihapon ka sa imuhang x and y intercept. So, you will arrive at 0, 5, and 7, 0 na points. Now, as you can see here, this graph, or the line rather, is found in your shaded region. Diba? Nasa sa imong shaded region. However, what we are trying to do is to maximize our, or our objective is to maximize. Now, kung yung itag maximization, siya, our objective function line holds true, or ang, ato ang objective function line is mahog na siya nga just a starting point for you to figure out or to find out where your optimal solution is. So, at ang objective line, yun na siya. If makabantay mo, di ang 35. Ang 35 is just a variable or pwede ra ikaw ang magmugna ana. Kay again, ang imuha bayaan ni, ang imuha purpose bayaan ni, what you are trying to get here is ang kaning value sa imuhang right side. Mo na ang imuhang gitry og maximize, di ba? So, para lang makagraph ka sa imuhang objective function, nag-assume sa ka og value sa imuhang right side. In this case, 35 ang yung i-assume nga value kay para mas dali i-graph dere. Mo na 35. But, you can always assume any value. For example, dere, if 39 imuhang i-assume nga value, mo na ang graph sa tunga. If 42 imuhang i-assume yung value, mo na i-graph sa tunga. Your objective here is to find out the maximum point. So, if you can see here, kanin to look lines are just parallel to each other. So, if you move this line going to the right side, parallel lagi na sila. However, again, your objective is kailangan wala kay region diri nga mahibilin or wala kay shaded region nga mahibilin diri sa imong right side area because you are looking for the maximum. So, ang katong kinalayan. Now, if you follow the, what do you call that? If you follow the trial and error method, if you ingon ani magtagna, tagna ra ka, dili wajo assurance kung imo makuha diha is ang maximum point. So in this case, na si nakuha ang objective maximum objective line function where in five x sub one plus seven x sub two is equals to forty six. So our optimal solution therefore is x sub one is equal to five and x sub two is equal to three. Now, how do we get that using algebra method? Dari na mo come in ang ato ang mga algebra skills. So, ato niya nang i-discuss later on. Kani siya is through graphing lang. So, um, what do you call that? Ato sa i-recap ka diot ha, before, we, before I introduce you to the algebra method. Let's have a recap first kung yun sa pag-solve ang imuhang maximization. So, for maximization, again, you need to prepare a graph for the feasible solution for each of the constraints. So, tag sa tag sa on yud ni ni mo. Kani, 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 tag sa tag sa on ni mo, kani mga constraints. Now, you need to determine the feasible region that satisfies all the constraints simultaneously. So, what is true for constraint 1, constraint 2, and constraint 3? Now, you need to determine or you need to draw your objective function line. Now, once you've determined your objective function line, or again, in determining your objective function line, kani, since wala man si right-hand side value, di ba, wala siya right-hand side value, unlike, unlike other constraint function, mag-assume ra ka di value nga imo, ha? Ang imo lang ba once you've assumed a value, and you've already graphed it, you move the parallel objective function line towards the larger objective function value without entirely leaving the feasible region. That is why, kani siya, o, oh, sige lang na siya move di ha ato, Nagsigil na siya move diha to the right side until maabot siya ani nga point. Wherein that point is this one. Here. Is equal to 46. Now, any feasible solution on the objective function line with the largest value is what you considered as your optimal solution. Let's talk first. Let's skip first the algebra. Kaya ato rin na discuss po sa minimization. So, Let's talk about slack and surplus variables. So slack and surplus is and surplus variables. In a linear program in which all variables are non-negative, 
and all the constraints or equalities, it is said to be in standard form. So a standard form is attained by adding slack variables to less than or equal to constraints and by subtracting surplus variables from greater than or equal to constraints. The slack and surplus variables represent the difference between the left and right sides of the constraints. Now, slack and surplus variables, subjective functions, function coefficients equal to zero. Let's go back to the first to this one. So as you can see here on the left side was our original na our original na mathematical model, diba? Ano ba yung bago ko? So our original na mathematical model. Now, on your right side, you can see here the standard form. And you can see there are new variables found or what you call your slack variables. That is your S sub 1, S sub 2, and S sub 3. So in here, your S sub 1 correlates to the slack on the first constraint. So X sub 1 plus S sub 1 is equals to 6. As you can see, or as you, the difference here is nahimo ng inequality ang imuhang, oh sorry, nahimo ng inequality ang imuhang values, or ang imuhang symbol dere sa imuhang constraint function because of the existence of the slack. So, kung pangyayang ika standard form, ang imong mga values dere will be, or your symbols here would be equal or equal symbol already. Next, your second constraint has assigned the slack value of 2. Your third constraint has assigned the slack value of 3. So, kani siya, kada constraint ni mo is lahi-lahi siya nga slack value. So, for example, if you have 10 constraints, expect 10. Ang katong ika 10th ni mga constraint, S10 to ang plus atong sa kinlasan, plus or minus. So, ingon ana siya ang mahitabo. And then, of course, your non-negativity would now include your oops, would now include your slack variables. So, later on, we will be appreciating kasi pasabot ang slack no, when you find your, op your optimal solution. So, in here, as you can see, your x sub 1 was equal to 6. Now, your slack value is equal to 1 nga naman. Take note or remember again, your optimal solution was x sub 1 is equal to 5 and x sub 2 is equal to 3. So, kung isubstitute ni mo ang x sub 1 ari sa imuhang first constraint, 5 is equal to 6, dili ba ya siya mo hold true? So, di ba? Balik ka dre. Your 5, oops, oh, andi. Your 5 plus your slack, ma-equal siya og 6. So, ang slack ni mo nga value therefore is 1. So, yun na na siya ang pasabot sa imuhang slack value. So, siya ang mo-equalize sa imuhang um, right-hand side value o left-hand side value. Now, for the second constraint, 2x sub 1 plus 3x sub 2, if isubstitute ninyo ang inyong optimal solution, you would arrive at 19. So, meaning, wala kay slack value or 0 ang imuhang S2 nga value. For S3 value, still the same, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So, your slack 3 value is 0 as well. So, ina na ang pasabot sa imuhang slack. So, again, pwede siya plus or minus. It depends kung sa imong value sa imong right-hand side. Now, let's talk about extreme points and optimal solution. The corners or vertices of your feasible region are referred to as your extreme points. An optimal solution to a linear program or linear programming problem can be found at an extreme point of the feasible region. Now, when looking for the optimal solution, you do not have to evaluate all feasible solution points. You only have to consider the extreme points of the feasible region. Don't say pasabot. Ra. If you can remember sa tong problem, ganiya, first problem, this one, the problem at your left side, its feasible region is identified by this area. You have your point 1, 0, 0, point 5, 4, 3, and 2. So, these are your extreme points. Now, only one of these points would satisfy your optimal solution. However, that's not always the case. Well, most of the time, one of those points, points would satisfy your solution. So, giunsa ni pagkuha ang kaning imuhang mga optimal, or giunsa ni pagkuha imuhang extreme points. Ato niya na i-discuss later on. 
Ano lang, basta hinumdumi lang na nyo ang concept of extreme points kay ma-apply na nato sa minimization problem. Now, let's talk about computer solutions. Computer solutions, we'll just have a run through because we are not a lab subject. Wala man taani nga mga computer programs, no? However, LP problems that involves large amounts of variables already or constraints can be solved using a computer package. So, pwede ka mo gamit o Microsoft Excel or if you have commercial packages like CPLEX, Lingo, Mosec, Express MP, and Premium Solver for Excel, you can make use of that to compete for linear programming problems. Kana siya. Pero that applies if you are already dealing with thousands of variables and thousands of constraints. Now, kanilang is, what we will be discussing or what I will be showing you is how you will interpret your computer output. So, in your quizzes or activities niya later on, or kana makita ninyo sa inyong e-book, you are given the computer solution. So, at least, kabaw mo sa computer solution na output as a pangitao ng objective function, ang sipasabot sa values of the decision variables, as a makita ng reduced cost, lack, and so on and so forth. Now, in the next chapter, chapter 3, i-discuss niya na to ang coefficient of the objective function and the right-hand side value of the constraints. So, Okay, ko naman to siya, sensitivity analysis. So, this is an example of a partial spreadsheet showing the problem data. Kani siya ganiha is same, gihapon na ni sa tong problem sa right side ha, ay sa left side rather. So, you have your constraint number 1, your variables sa taas, x sub 1 and x sub 2. And then, ang iyahang mga constants. ba? So, what they call this. So, your x sub 1 is a value of 1, and then yung x sub 2 is, of course, 0. RHS value means right-hand side. RHS means right-hand side. So, kanin, 6, 19, and 8. Your constraint number 2 has the 2x sub 1, and then 3x sub 2, RH val R RHS value of 19, and so on and so forth. Excuse me. And then, theory is your also your objective function. Muna siya, 5 and 7. Now, if you are to solve that problem, or you will be shown with this computer solution, automatic na niha nga sa, sa Excel ni mo, mo solve na ni siya diretsyo. Pwede na na ako ipakita. Again, di mo talab. So, kanilang makita ni mo diri nga, maghatag na siya diretsyo sa imuhang optimal decision variable, which is 5 and 3. Now, as you can remember, 5 and 3 was your optimal solution or points sa imuhang optimal solution. Diba? Muna siya, 5 and 3. And then, you can also find your maximized objective function. Meaning, ang right-hand side value sa imuhang objective function, ihatag na po niya automatically. Kana siya. Aside from that, you can also see the um, difference between the amount used and your RHS limit. So, dire, makita ni mga 5, 19, and so on. And then with that, mahibawa ni mong imuhang mga slack value. So, din yung makitaan man ni mo, 5 ang na-use, na kay RHS nga 6. So, meaning na kay slack nga 1, and so on and so forth. So, inana siya. Okay. Now, let's talk about reduced cost. Reduced cost for a decision variable who is, whose value of 0 is the optimal solution. So, the, um, the optimal solution is the amount the variable's objective function coefficient would have to improve, increase, or maxima, increase for maximization problems and decrease for minimization problems before this variable could assume a positive value. So, the reduced cost for a decision variable whose value is lesser than or greater than zero in the optimal solution is zero. So, I mean, ma appreciate ranya ninyo sa do um sa next chapter sensitivity analysis kay mas makita man didto no ang impact sa imong reduced cost unsay pasabot sa imong reduced cost so there lang inyong hinamduman is ang reduced cost gyud sa imong optimal solution would be zero if dili gani na siya zero meaning dili na siya imong optimal solution inana na na siya and then you have your objective coefficient your allowable increase and decrease which you will later appreciate sa um what do you call that? Next chapter, sensitivity analysis. Same here. Then shadow price is also in the next chapter. Money dual value. 
So, kana siya. Muna siya ang sa imuang spreadsheet solution. So, sa activities is makakita rin niya ang move ingon ani. In ani rin niya ang ihatag sa inyo. And then you will be asked, what is the maximum or what is the um, what is the coordinates for the optimal solution? So, of course, the answer is 5 and 3. Diba? What is the maximized objective function value or the minimized objective function value? So, kana, makita rin na. Kung sa ang imuang final values, imuang mga constraints, pila ang slack, and so on and so forth. So, Kana, makitaan na ni Mutanan sa computer solution. Now, let's move on to a minimization problem. Dari po nato i-show niya ang um, algebra nga method sa pagkuha sa imuhang objective or pagkuha sa imuhang optimal solution or katong imuhang mga extreme points. So, let me copy the problem first. Okay, so we have here a minimization problem. So, minimize 5x sub 1 plus 2x sub 2. And then, you have your following constraints. So, ako rin naara sa mga left side no as guide. Now, again, what we need to do first is to graph our constraints. So, let's start with the first constraint using the x and y intercept method. When your x sub 1 is equals to 0, then your x sub 2 would be equal to 2. Ito na yung butang din hi sa ato ang. So, in here, ako na lang yan. Aha. Your x sub 1 is, when your x sub 1 is equal to 0, your x sub 2 is equal to, your x sub 2 is equal to 2. And then, your other graph is your, when your x sub 2 is equal to 0, your x sub 1 is equal to 5. So, mo niya ang coordinates sa imuang first graph. Your sec or first constraint rather. Next, second constraint, your when your x sub 2 is equals to 0. When your x sub 2 is equals to 0, your x sub 1 is 3. So, 3 and 0. Now, when your x... Your, now, take a look at here. Setting x sub 1 as to 0 x sub 1 as to 0, will yield an x sub 2 which is negative 12. Therefore, to get a second point on this line set, x sub 1, you can set x sub 1 to any number larger than 3 and solve for x sub 2. Anong larger than 3 man? Because take note, ato ang minimum sa atong x sub 1 kay 3 man. Diba? Dari 3 man siya. Para mahimong 0 ang imuhang x sub 2. So, meaning, mamili tag number nga mas larger than 3. So, in this case, if mo, if atong x sub 1 daw is 5, o atong ang i-substitute, ang atong makuha nga value sa x sub 2 would be 8. Because again, remember, you need to work in quadrant 1. So, mauna siya. Kagets ra? So, quadrant 1. Kani siya mahog nga, kani siya imong minimum value because again, your x sub 2 cannot be lower than 0. So, dapat, para di siya ma-lower than 0, your x sub 1 value should be higher than 3 as well. So, kung 4, lahi po na ang value and so on and so forth. Next, your third constraint. When your x sub 1 is equals to 0, your x sub 2 is 4. And then, when your x sub 2 is 0, your x sub 1 is 4 as well. Nakani siya sa obos, 0, 0 naman siya, given. Or automatic na na siya, 0, 0. So, you have here your constraints, no? You can see your constraints. Now, if we graph that 1, we would get this visible region. Muni siya ang imong visible region. Remember, this, al this already deals with a greater than or equal to nga value. So, ang shaded region ni mo is already at the right side. Diba? So, kanin siya. This line refers to your second constraint. This line refers to your second constraint. This line refers to your third constraint. Sec third constraint. For, um, second constraint. And then, this one is your first constraint. Diba? So, cunning shared region nila or shared na shaded region is your visible region. Now, take note here, kanin ni stop na ni siya until 6, but this is towards infinity na na siya nga value. Okay, again, never ending na siya. 
infinity na siya na value. So, after graphing your constraints, you need to graph your objective function. Now, the objective function, as I mentioned, you need to um, what you, you need to decide a variable or you need to decide a assumed right-hand side value. So, in this, in sa problem, ang iyang assume nga value sa imuhang um, function is 20. <coughs> Therefore, your x sub 1, if this is 20, tingnan na yung 20 din ha, the value of your x sub 1 would be 0, and then this is 10, and then this is 4, and 0. Kana siya. Now, after determining all your coordinates already, next you need to find the feasible or the optimal solution. So, again, katong ganiha sa atong gibuhat sa maximization, if a graph, if mag-graph na natong objective function line, since we are dealing with minimization here, padulong na sa lower value ang ato ang pag-drag sa katotong line, di ba? So, in this case, if ato atong i-graph, kaning thicker line, oops, sorry, this thicker line is your, what do you call that, objective function. So, again, since minimization man ta, yung movement is towards the left side. So, kani meaning diri, pa-move pa diri, no? Again, parallel movement nang ihapon. Now, if you can see, na akay region diri, or kaning point diri, ah, Anong point diri ang uh, most likely is your optimal solution. However, if you take a look at it, medyo confusing siya gamay. Or did you check clear kung which among these extreme points is your answer? So, what you will be doing is solving for your extreme points. Because again, extreme points many more. One of your extreme points, it, it is in one of your extreme points wherein you can find your optimal solution. So, din he, we are using the algebra method in finding the coordinates of our extreme points. So, what you will do is you make use of the intersection of the two binding constraints. Once say binding, once say pasawot binding constraints, katong constraints or katong graph sa constraints where in nag-abot or na ay intersection. So, in this case, at ano to din he? Duha man ni siya ka-constraint. Ari, ari. Diba? Siguro diri, mas dali siya makitaan if we try to zoom it. Ari, ari. Diba niya, tapo di. Oh, tapo di, di, mas zoom. So, if mo na siyang i-zoom din ha. Diba? So, this, it can either be this area or this area. So, ipakita man na to diri nga, you will know nga, ang gigamit niya ang objective function, or gigamit niya ang constraints, is the, what do you call that? The third, uh, the second constraint, this one, and the third constraint, which is this one. Diba? Yun sa mga determine again, going back here, this line here, mabay na intersection, kanina line, second constraint, and the, this one, no, no, this one, kanina line, x, x sub 1 plus x sub 2, Plus to 4. So, kanin duha ka lines mo na itong gigamit para makuha. Oops. Oh, ande. Para makuha nini mo. Diba? Kanin man na points ang itong gi, gi. Kanin man nga point ang itong gi pangita. So, kanin intersection. If kanin po isa, you make use of the second and the first. Uh, the sec, the first and the third na constraint. If kanin, if kanin sa ubos, imuha ang gi pangita. But if kanin sa babaw, mo oh, na siya ang second. Mo oh. na siya ang third o second. Now, if a two daw siyang isolve, adding these two equations, you will get the value of 16 over 5. So, let's try to solve. Kung gusto na pagkuha ang 16 over 5, no? At ni i-copy bit. So, let's go back to our algebra. Refresh ta sa itong algebra class. How do you add two linear functions? 
diba? You can you make use of the process of substitution and elimination, diba? So, the reverse is mag sa mga mag-eliminate sa ka. So, unsa man ang imong gana eliminate? You eliminate one variable or you need to figure out, you need to find the value of one variable first. So, we, so in order to do that, you need to eliminate one variable. So, in this case, magpili ka kung x sub 1 ba or x sub 2 ang imuhang kuhaon. Now, if you try to take out your x sub, let's say, ah, dire ay, mas easier man na dire kay, opposite sides naman ang imuhang, opposite signs naman ang imuhang x sub 2, duha. So, kani imuhang x sub 2? Ako lang na siyang i-red. Um, let's try. Let's insert na lang, ah. Let's insert a line. Oh. Ani siya is imuhabi ani siyang i-add. Let's make it thicker. Diba? Diba you will, you will be adding these two lines. Okay? Sorry, sorry. You will be adding those two. Now, in order to add those two, you need to, or you can... Algebra again, as I mentioned. So, simply, pwede rin ni mo directly na i-cancel out ang kanihimu ang x sub 2. Kaya nga naman, they are opposite pan sila nga. They are of the opposite variable. Ay, opposite variable. Opposite sides man. Signs man. So, kanis si x sub 2 ni mo makancel out ra na siya. So, what you are left with is... 5x sub 1. Let's make it sub 1. And then, this would be, oops, sorry. This would be, plus 2, 16. Yan naman, 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. That is why your x sub 1 is equal to 16 over 5. Is equal to 16 over 5. Oops, sorry. Makana siya. Managyon sa napag-arrive ang 16 over 5. Pwede po, if ganahan ka, maglisod-lisod kasi mong kinabuhi. Ang imuhang i- imuhang i- cancel out is ang x sub 1. Pwede ra po. Kaya naman, para makuha ni mo ang x sub 2. Let's try that. Let's copy this one. So, there you, what we are trying to cancel out is your x sub 2. So, para ma-cancel out ang imuhang x sub 2, or no, x sub 2, your x sub 1, you need to multiply the second one, the second formula, this one, you need to multiply the second formula with negative 4. Ano negative 4 man? Remember, kaning sa imuhang babaw, you are trying to cancel out x sub 1. Iyahamang coefficient or constant niya is, 4 man. So, para ma-cancel out siya, kailangan siya negative 4. Or, kailangan ang value sa imuhang x sub, imuhang second formula is negative 4 x sub 1. So, mahitabuan ni niya, kung i-multiply na ni mo, ako na i-change the reddit. So, mahimuan siya negative 4 x. And then, this is negative 4 x. Gap, kung for x sub 2. And then, this would be negative 16 na. Diba? That will be negative 16. And then, you add again. Kani hato ding i-change between. Already ko an. Kani, you're dealing with equalities ba ya? Okay. Ano siya? So, after that, is kani, pwede na natong i-cancel out ang ato ang 4x sub 1. Okay. Cancel out na na siya. So, that would be 0. And then, this one, ang remaining ano niya, would be negative 5x. Sub 2. Uh -huh. Sub 2. And then, that is equal to, oops, 
equal to negative 4. So, therefore, you have a value of x sub 2 ish. Can you have a copy? x sub 2 is 4 over 5. Let's see. So, Kanisha is using both the elimination method. Pero, if pwede ra na if makuha na ganyan mo ang isa ka value sa isa ka variable, you will just substitute it. So, para sa anis sa inyong right side, you substitute the formula either in the first or the second, you would still arrive at 4 over 5. So, kana siya. Muna siya ay muhang um, optimal value of the objective function, 4 over 5. So, if you substitute it to your objective function, you would get the objective value or optimal value of 88 over 5. Now, let's try to, on this one, optimal solution, 88 over 5 or 17.6. Now, let's try to solve or let's try to verify if kana bagid ang atong optimal solution. Yan ang dili ka ning isa, diba? If you take a look at, if ato aning i-zoom dari na area, diba? There is a possibility man po, nga kani siya maoy imuhang optimal solution. So, let's try to solve daw if kana ang ato ang kwaan og optimal value or kana itong kwaan og value. Let's copy and paste. So, again, kana siya nga line. Ang iyahang function is kaning 2x sub 1. This one. Let's copy this. So, the next slide. And then, the second is kani sub 1. Kani siya. Diba mo ni siya ang So, listen. And then you do the same process. Magkapi kapi na lang ako sa. You do the same process of finding for the or elimination and substitution. So in this case, we will just be multiplying this by negative two. If you multiply that by negative 2, so that we can cancel out x sub 1. So, mahitabuan na niya. This would be, oops, negative 2x, negative 2x, and then this would be negative 8. Okay na. So, cancelled out. Cancel out these values. So, you will be left with 3x sub 2 is equal to, oops, is equal to 2. Or you have, run and copy, copy. x sub 2 is equal to 2 thirds. And then finding x sub 2 is equal to 2 thirds. Substitution na lang to dritsyo. Substitute na to siya sa kanina formula. Kaya para din na ito maghago-hago. So, your x sub 1. So, kuya, nina yung sub-sub, eh. x sub 1 is equals to 4 minus... Ako nila yung dito ka sa 2 thirds. Okay. Minus na siya kay transpose and everything. So, your x sub 1 is... Um, what do you call that? 3 and oops, 1 third. So, if we substitute that to the objective function, 
which is balik ta ang objective function is 5x so kita ta next square up square up this is our objective function Okay, x sub 1 is 3 and 1 third. Oops. Okay. Then 2x is equal to 2 third. That would be equal to. So I think the answer of this one is 18. 18. So, if you compare it with this one, the answer is 17.6. And then, remember, you are looking for the minimum. Again, since this is a minimization problem, minimum. So, what is lower? Now, in this case, 17.6 is lower than 18. Therefore, your optimal values is really 16 over 5 and 4 over 5. Then, your optimal value optimal coordinates rather optimal coordinates as you see over 5 and 4 over 5 and then the maximize or the minimum value is 17.6 so that is how you solve using the algebra method now again you just need to find the coordinates of your extreme points as i mentioned ganina same to sa imuhang maximization so sa maximization kung unsa to ang imuhang mga binding constraints o kani siya imuhang mga binding constraints or the insert in intersecting ng mga constraint, constraint lines, or constraint graphs, muna siya imuhang solvan ani. Okay? I hope you get it. Next, uh, this is just a summary of the graphical solution procedure for minimization problem. The only difference here is the movement of your objective function line. Since this is minimization, it moves towards a smaller value without entirely leaving the visible region then your smallest value is of course your optimal solution now we also have we are also talking about surplus variables here so same see a concept same one slack basically all the same so anilang the spreadsheet solution still the same interpretation i see 17.6 and then this these are the your slack values Then, the feasible region here, the feasible region of a two-variable linear prob programming problem can be non-existent, a single point, a line, a poly polygon, or a unbounded area. Now, a lin any linear program falls in one of four categories. Either it is infeasible, meaning among all the solutions, wala dito ang imuhang ipangita, or... It has a unique optimal solution, meaning there is only one optimal solution, just like in our minim minim minimization and maximization problem. Or it has alternative optimal solutions, which ito na i-discuss later on, so na pasabot. And then it has an objective function that cannot be that can be increased without bound or unbounded. So a feasible region may be unbounded, and yet there may be optimal solutions. This is common in minimization problems and is possible in maximization problems. Kung siya pasabot unbounded, para sa akong dimension ganiha, let's go back to the graph. Oh, kanisang area diri class. Oops, sorry. Kanisang area diri, di ba? This extends naman to in, to infinity. Again, this area here, kanisya, kanin, na, na stop na niya until 6. But in reality, this extends to infinity. Mone siyang unbounded. Mone siya pasabot sa unbounded. So, it is common in minimization problems. However, in maximization, it is possible. So, muna siyang pasabot sa unbounded, ha? Now, what do you mean by alternative optimal solutions? This means that the objective function line is parallel to a boundary constraint in the direction of optimization. Meaning, there is more than one optimal solution because all points in that specific line segment is considered as optimal. So, let's have a... Sample problem. This is a given problem. Di natin i-discuss in detail ha, the concept lang of opti optimal solution. So, if we consider this problem, if we take a look at, if you try to solve it, you will arrive at this solution or at this graph. 
wherein the objective function line, the kaning baga na line, as you can see here, coincides with this function, with this constraint, kaning 2x sub 1 plus 3x sub 2. Diba ni, ni coincide si Anna? Meaning, all lines diri from your point A, segment A to B, is considered as your optimal solution. Yan naman kay, again, as I mentioned, ni coincide man siya sa imuang constraint na function na line. So, kana siya, from points A to B, kanin siya mo na siya yung considered as optimal solution. Now, when we talk about invisibility, meaning there is no solution to your LP problem that satisfies all constraints, including the non-negativity constraints. Now, graphically, this means a feasible region does not exist, causes of which include a formulation error or a man the management's expectations are too high, meaning the constraints are already unreasonable, and then there are too many restrictions that have been placed, and then take note, you need to satisfy all constraints. So even if there is only one constraint that is not satisfied, of course, that makes it infeasible already. So this is an example. Let's have an example of infeasible problem. Uh, this one, given this constraint. And then if you try to graph this, take note, this area, or no, so, sorry, this function, this function, a yahang graph or yang shaded region is towards the right side, this side here. However, this function, a yang shaded region is towards the left side. So, wala sila gi share nga common shaded region. So, meaning this problem is an invisible problem. So, inana siya. And then we have unbounded, meaning the solution to a maximization problem is unbounded if the value of the solution may be made indefinitely large without violating any of the constraints. Now, for real problems, this is the result of improper formulation because, of course, there are constraints. That, that is why constraints are there because there are limitations. Kung kag unbounded, meaning limitless ang imuhang optimal solution. Wala kay specific constraint ka nag-stop niya. So, example of an unbounded solution or given this constraint or given this um, problem, as you can see here, the visible region is unbounded and the objective fun function line can be moved outward since we are dealing with a maximization. Remember, maximization is yata, toward the right side. So, kung imuha daw siyang i-graph, kani, this is the visible region, and then this area here, kung tumulong siya 10, but in reality, this is limitless, or this is to infinity, o kung mumove ka, na parallel lang sa unang support, walay hunong, di ba, ang imuha objective function. So, di ka, technically, your optimal value is infinite. Muna siya, kung unbounded. So, that is it. That is the end of chapter 2. If you have questions or clarifications, please do not hesitate to ask. Okay, now next chapter we will be talking about sensitivity analysis.